Hi, I'm Gail Sesniak, and I represent Circle Kids Play School. Woo! Uh, woo, yeah. Um, so we have a compassion team, but we're also a business, a uh, developing business. So, yeah, it's a little bit strange. Uh, but right now, at the present time, Circle Kids is a morning uh, play school for three- and four-year-olds. We have seven kids enrolled, but our daily maximum attendance is six. We are in the licensing process, and we will be a full-time child care center for three- and four-year-olds. Um, I'm praying that happens soon, but it is up to the powers that be. <laughs> um, so, so far, Circle Kids has had 13 kids enrolled, and of those 13, um, it was the first time that 10 of them had been in a child care setting. Eight of those kids came from our neighborhood, and three of those eight came because of our Friday play school. That's where they, or play group, that's where they first heard about us. Um, our main goal is to give quality child care, which is a safe, nurturing space for kids and families and creating a community. Um, so we've had kids in the neighborhood when they uh, get picked up from Circle Kids, the kids and their moms walk home together. They have not known each other before. Uh, children are making, and parents are making play dates. Uh, one of our kids just had his birthday party and all he wanted invited were the Circle Kids kids <laughs> because they were his friends. Um, and another story we had that one of the kids that was came to us, um, lived with his mother and her fiance, and they decided they wanted to get married. So because of being with Circle Kids, they got to meet Rachel, and they asked Rachel if she would perform their ceremony. So she did the premarital counseling and married them last fall. So that was a great connection. Um, as being with Circle Kids, I'm also a part of the Good Business Oversight Team, and they are a great support and resource, and also uh, a, a part of accountability. I submit monthly reports to them. Um, I also, we have the Circle Kids Compassion Team, and uh, we've just kind of revamped because we are in the licensing process. Uh, we've started painting the ceiling on the second floor uh, white, and we have plans to do a mural. We have our space upstairs is just like this, and this whole wall will be um, a mural. We have someone rehabbing some of our toys, uh, our kitchen equipment toys, and we're gathering toys and supplies. And we have to plan room layouts for about 20 kids following the DHS and the health department regulations. Our team is also trying to figure out affordable tuition while um, paying a living wage for our staff um, and considering is this possible we think it is we don't have it worked out yet um, our team will also be um, having to figure out handbooks policies school calendars and all things like that so if you have any interest in all that come and see me because we <laughs> could certainly use help um, so just a story about some of the things that happens with this group of wonderful, creative children. It was about two weeks ago. Um, they decided they wanted to do a puppet show. And what was so interesting is that it wasn't about the story or the happenings of the, um, what the characters were going to do. It was about the technical things. So they got kind of set up, and then they realized, oh, we need food for the help. So they went to the play kitchen and gathered a whole tray full of play food. And I was just the audience, so I was not allowed to eat the food that was for the workers. <laughs> so then they're getting ready and they decide, oh my gosh, we have to record this. So they went over and got Tinker Toys and each of them built their own video recorder. And while they were doing the puppet play, they recorded it. So after the puppet play was over, they took their video recorders and went and sat in front of a blank wall, and they watched 
the movie on the blank wall and did some editing. So they went back and they repeated this whole process. This went on for like 45 minutes. Oh my gosh, I, I was so overjoyed and thrilled to see this. I couldn't believe they were still doing this. And it was just awesome. Um, last week, uh, we read a book about the um, Milky Way galaxy and our solar system. And the kids started the discussion of why Pluto is no longer a planet. I, I had no idea Pluto was no longer a planet. I just know the world. So we got into an elliptical orbit and uh, how it, yeah, things like that. And this was, a, I had to go Google it. I, so yeah, these kind of things happen at Circle Kids and that's kind of the world that I choose to live in too. It's great. So thanks. Pray for us. Pray that um, uh, we get through the bureaucracy. Yeah. We're right now going through the health department. Um, we do need to have the food license. We won't be preparing food. We'll, we will be serving food, but it's the same standard as a restaurant. We will still get the health department inspections. Um, we have to have the fire department inspection, and then we can apply to DHS and go through their inspections. Mm -hmm. So. It'd be great if you could pray that things go smoothly. Yeah. Thanks.